Hi everybody, it's Bailey and I am the Youth Services Outreach Specialist here at Paul Sawyer Public Library and today I'm back with another Resource Thursday and today we're going to talk about PBS Learning Media. Okay, to log on to PBS Learning Media, we're going to need to go to ket.org slash education. So unlike my other videos I've done for Resource Thursday where you can get to the wonderful resources via our website, this isn't on our website. This is just an awesome resource that I wanted to share with you. So to do this website, to get on this website, you're going to go to ket.org slash education. So be sure to look around and browse all of these resources when you are on this first page that pulls up but for this video we're gonna go you see where it's the big orange K through 12 dot we're gonna click on explore PBS learning media right underneath that dot once you get there you're gonna see pretty much a lot of things that you can click on automatically and this is a free tool for anybody who has access to the internet if you want to sign up for a PBS Learning Media account, you can. Right here where it says sign up and sign in, you don't have to. I suggest signing up for this free resource because you can favorite things and you can save things and you can go back to them later. But if you already have a lot of emails to worry about and you don't want to worry about another one, you don't have to sign up for access to this resource. So there's three different things you can click on at the top right here. There's standards, grade, this is the grade level, and then subject level. Standards are if you have a better understanding of the K through 12 standards in Kentucky. So if you don't really know about that, I would suggest starting with the subject. So we're going to click on that and automatically a lot of information pops up. So it's broken down into big categories and then we have subcategories underneath here. So say we wanted to go to social studies and specifically we wanted to look at US history. We can click on that and all of the things relating to US history are going to show up now. So right off the bat you can see there's 2,965 videos pertaining to US history and if you scroll down there's interactive lessons, and if you keep scrolling down, there's simple interactives. Then you have lesson plans, and it shows down here the grades that this lesson plan is pertaining to. And some of the other resources like the interactive also show the grade level that it would be best suited for. We have galleries audio, images, documents. This one was really cool. I clicked through these a few days ago and was just blown away with the amount of documents they have. Web pages, and I think that's, oh, and collections. And that's all. And under each category, you can always click see more collections. It has how many the number of collections they have or the number of audio or the number of videos so you can always click see more. Let's scroll back up to the top and on the left side you have it broken down to even more so we clicked subjects US history but once you get onto US history there's even more subcategories that you can click through and research so let's try something else Let's try mathematics, K through eight mathematics. And similar to the US history, it's videos, audio, so on and so forth. If you want to filter by grade, you can do it this way. So say we want to do mathematics for fifth grade only. I clicked on that. And all the videos pertaining to fifth grade Mathematics are going to show up, and lessons, and interactive lessons, and so on and so forth. Lesson plans. You can also filter the type. So if you just want to look at media gallery, you can do this. So if you just want to look at the lesson plan for fifth grade mathematics, you can do this. 
and say I just want to start back from the beginning, I can click clear filters and that's going to take off everything, the fifth grade, the type, and everything else that I had selected. You can also click sort by popularity, newest, or relevance. And most of these have the possibility of sharing it with your Google Classroom. Yes. So I clicked on that video and say I was an educator that I wanted to share this with my Google Classroom so my students don't have to click through everything that I just went through to find this video. This is perfect to share to your Google Classroom right here. And it gives them the link and it's really simple for them to access. If you don't have a Google Classroom and you just want to share it, this is where you can do this. And like I said earlier, if you do have a PBS Learning Media account, this is where you can favorite something. And once you log back in, you have access to all the things that you favorited. So let's go back to the home page and let's click on grades. So we did subject, now let's do grades. Let's click on early elementary. So this is just popping up information that's going on in the world. So we have information about the coronavirus and different things like that. So these constantly change. And then like we had with the subjects, you can filter by the subject, the type. This is the same information you're going to get from subjects or grades. It's just a different way of finding it. And then lastly, we have the standards. And this you can select a specific standard to find information for that PBS Learning Media has on their website. So I encourage you to familiarize yourself with this website. A great way to do that is just clicking through and seeing what you can find. And I am excited to see what you have figured out that you can do on this website and excited to see all the resources that you were able to obtain through this wonderful free website. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at bailey.slusher at pspl.org, or you can always leave a question in the comments, and I will see you back next week with another Resource Thursday. Bye!